Yo, Andrew, are we in Kowloon, Hong Kong right now? Nah. We're in New York's Chinatown and we're on Bowery Street. And today, me and David are gonna be going on a crawl around Chinatown to six of the most talked about Chinatown classic restaurants. These are spots that if you talk to regular people, they will recommend them. We just picked up some egg waffles with some toppings on them, AKA Gaidan Zai on the street. Let's, Let's go. go. The very first spot that we're starting at is perhaps also the most highly recommended. Everybody that we know that works in Chinatown or grew up in Chinatown always recommends this spot. Today we are going to Noodle Village. This spot, Berry HK. It's a very Hong Kong restaurant because it's serving all different types of food. You're talking about the true Hong Kong style. So it is not just one style of food, it is many. Oh my god. So gosh. the first two dishes have arrived here and I've never had either of these. So no. This is like a Cantonese influenced Japanese ramen and here we have some spicy cuttlefish. It's essentially like a squid. Cuttlefish. Mm. Check out this dish man. It might convert you. This is called the devil's ramen. You got cuttlefish, shrimp, scallops, fish ball, fish filet. Devil's ramen, baby. Hong Kong, you know, like we said, has a lot of different influences. Shaolin Bao's are Shanghainese. Yo, I can see the skin is very thin of these. Yeah, that was good. I got the yin yang, yin yang, yin yang, which is like yin and yang, which is half half. They always use that term when there's like a 50 50 mix of something. This is tea and coffee, Hong Kong style. We're still waiting for one more dish though. And that dish is a classic dish, but it takes a long time to make, David. What is it? Oats are fun! First of all, you got boring broccoli, but then you have the duk bang, the meat patty, yeah, and then you got the lap chur, Chinese sausage, and then you have chashu right here, fried shallots, you have green onions. When you get bow tie fun, it's not just regular soy sauce that they're pouring on. They got the sweet version here, a little bit thicker right there. It drips. Look at that. Almost like what? What an appetizing thing to say, David. A lot of people's favorite thing about Bowtie Font is the crispy rice on the outside. I really enjoy the food here. The food tastes really unique. It doesn't taste too strong. So it gives you just enough kick. We gotta keep going. Always on a move. Fong Bros, number two. And this next spot that's also highly recommended is a Malaysian spot. So let's take a little walk walk over to walk walk. Malaysian food, never bad. Did we just go from Hong Kong to Food Republic in Singapore? It's not just doing Malaysian food, it's doing Indonesian food, Malaysian, Singaporean, Vietnamese, and Thai food as well. Everything. <laughs> Yo, this bowl is really hot. Here's the laksa. We got the crispy tofu skin right here. Sauce here. Yo, shrimp the shrimps is filleted. Filleted. So here you have thick egg noodles and then you have thin rice noodles. Woo. David, you know what I realized about the two types of noodles, man, is that the rice noodles to me are actually the noodles, and then the egg almost are like a form of texture or meat. Like, because the noodles contrast so much in chewiness to non-chewiness, the chewy noodles don't even feel like noodles. Yo, that's deep, bro. Some things compared to other things don't even feel like that thing anymore. Walk, walk. Presenting the nasi lemak. Okay, this is coconut rice. Let me taste it. It's coconut rice. Oh my you got the rendang, beef rendang. I believe this is sambal. This is the sweet sauce with the anchovies. Andrew, your kung fu is strong, but do you have the three finger eating technique? Oh, David, my three finger technique needs work. I should have trained in the mountains. Mmm. Yo, this is different, bro. This is a tung yao bang, scallion pancake, but served in the same technique as roti. Roti is a little bit different than a scallion pancake, but since you're in Chinatown, we're more familiar with the scallion pancake. That's a big pancake, David. Dave, what are you unfolding a map? Nasi lemak rendang. Mmm. Woo! Oh my goodness. Talk to me, talk to me, David. It's hot. All right, one of us goes in and we all go through it. Mm. All right, so this is hot stone bowl wok basil chicken. Take some of the flavor of that pad from pow dish, Thai dish, puts it in a stone pot. Well, here we have the classic dessert chendol. They even topped it off with a little bit of durian. 
Oh yeah, that's dairy. I've never seen that before. Pandan jellies, red beans, shaved ice right here with the syrup. This is a great thing to eat after laksa. Oh, look at good. Oh man, bro. Seldom do I give a clap, must try. We got this delicious Thai iced tea. Let's try it. Wow, that's good. They're all tasty, it was accessible. Obviously they frame it in a way where like the mass market can enjoy, so that's what I like about the spot. Shout out to Wok Wok. Wok Wok. at Chikarashi, which is a brand new fusion poke bowl spot. But they don't just do raw fish, they're doing a lot here. You guys gotta check it out. Let's get it. Hi, my name is Michael Lim, the executive chef here at Chikarashi. Our concept is a Japanese version of poke. So in its essence, it's rice, it's raw fish, different sauces. Chikarashi is a hybrid of two words, chikara and chirashi. Chirashi also being the Japanese form of sushi over rice in a bowl format. So we took those two words and added together to come up with a unique name. Everything's refined, everything's broken down into components. The rice is done in a very specific way. We use the highest grade koshigi gari rice. At the end of the day, what's on the plate and my proud of, and that's all that matters. Congratulations on the success so far. Yo, yeah, Andrew, why don't you dig into the Sichuan chili sandwich? I'm really excited to see if it has the Sichuan kick. A little bit. Mm, they're so good. Like a creamy, light smokiness to it. You know what I notice here, David, is when I bite into the salmon, I can tell the quality is there. I'm gonna try the Goma Shoyu tuna. You have seaweed salad in there, you got mixed greens, you have avocado, a lot more of like a shoyu salad. Mm. As opposed to poke tuna, that is like tuna sashimi right now. I like them both. I, I'm rolling with the Sichuan chili salmon. Well, this one is a definitely fire. a flavor that I've never yeah, had. That is the best raw sauce salmon I've ever had. Okay. The Sichuan flavor in Japanese food, not a common pairing. I would say that the pairing medium between the Sichuan and the Japanese is French. Gastronomical. Chikarashi. Dole Whip soft serve is famous in Disneyland. Wow, that's so good. We got brain freeze. Whole ah. We have a special spoonful of all the different ingredients that they have for different dishes, all in this one spoon. Wow. It all blended into one piece. It looked like a lot of different things on the spoon, but when you ate it, it was just one flavor. You really see a convergence between fine dining and high-end expert techniques, and then mixed with more fast casual items too, and they're not separate worlds. Yeah. It's great, man. You guys gotta check out this spot. Come to Chikarashi, Canal Street. The next spot would be Bo Key. We did not get clearance to shoot inside. Bo Key is great. The country style goose, really good chiu chow chow mein, really good curry. It's, it's a Chinese Vietnamese era. Cantonese style. So check out Bo Key. On to the next spot. All right guys, we have just finished up Chikarashi, which is on one side of canal. We have walked all the way down by Essex and we are now at the Bao Shop. The way I describe it, it's actually a cross between a Chinese taco and a Chinese hamburger. Bao Shop, let's go. I'm Billy, I'm the owner of Bao Shop. We opened the shop to introduce some Asian fusion baos. You guys have a Philly cheesesteak bao? Yo, baos to boba. So we are at our final food spot on our Chinatown food crawl, the Bao Shop. Even though the name says bao in it, they have way more than baos. This is a Philly cheesesteak wrapped in a scallion pancake, AKA a tung yao bang, tung yao bing. Oh my gosh. Okay. That crispy chewiness from the scallion pancake. Mm. No, this is good. You wouldn't think Western flavor. No. But it works. All right, here we got the OG bao. At the original, you actually would not have the julienne, carrots, and daikon in here. That is more of the Southeast Asian fusion flavor tied into it. So I actually really like the original gua bao, but now after trying this, I do think a dressed up version with very subtle things does add something. Now, the special thing about these bowls, kimchi fried rice. This is like a Vietnamese, Chinese, Korean fusion right here. So the shop fries have daikon, kimchi, scallion, cilantro, spicy mayo, and cilantro lime aioli. Mm. The lime cilantro slash sriracha mayo, I think makes it, man. Hit me with the lime. The food here at Bao Shop, it is tasty. What is it? Tasty. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gotta get a little taste. Give it that a little extra. Bah! Now, David, on to dessert. Everybody goes to this dessert spot. Everybody. We're going to Taiyaki. Let's go. 
Time for dessert, taiyaki, a fish-shaped waffle filled with ice cream, red beans, so they, many different things. You know what, they might be able to explain it a little better. Everybody loves taiyaki. All different types of people are here. Man, when it comes to ice cream and a fish, everybody's getting it. Also, I will say the AC is flowing in here. Uh, so basically, it's like a waffle cone. So inside, it has like the custard or the red bean filling. The red bean is a lot more sweeter than the custard filling. I just think like when people see this on Instagram, they're like, oh, I want to come here. And David's double fisting the taiyakis right now. Taiyakis, bro! Okay, Mochi. Yo, this is really good. I like the soft swerve here. If it drips, let it drip. Mm, I love unicorns. Shout out to 6 9 uh, Alright, one tip. Eat this fast. They have a Takashi 6 9 collabo. They put it in a floaty. This is a unicorn floating device. Taro unicorn drink. That's thick. I'm moving to LA to become an IG model. If you're at all into the Instagram world, just watch the movie Ingrid Goes West. Find it very interesting. All right, guys, that's it for this Chinatown food crawl. In the comments below, let us know what looked to be the best. Maybe even some recommendations for other places that we should showcase. Yo, until next time, we in Chinatown, New York. We out. Peace. It's so Instagrammable. <laughs> I got a, I got a gram you can tag me. Hey, all right.